Okay, so welcome back again. We're on character quest, character quest, character quest duty. Nothing else to it. So I guess we're going to Jean Du next, since it seems to be the next one on the list. Now, we finished Elisa's story. We finished Rowan's story. Have we finished Rowan's story? Actually, I'm not sure. I believe we may have. These yeah, we have, I think. Have so, Jude, Alvin. Feel the energy in the air. So it's not Jude, so Alvin, do you reckon? I should probably have a look around, find out where exactly we need to go. Down there, I'm, I'm going to go with Alvin. I feel like... He's one of the very few we haven't finished yet. We may not... Yeah, we finished Leia's. We finished Rowan's. So, Alvin... It is Alvin. Ah, what do you know? I actually got it right. I guess when it comes down to the last few, it's not too difficult, eh? Continue with Alvin's story. Let's see what's going down. Alvin, Chapter 5. Cheers to a better future. That does sound like the, the very last one to me. That's what he has to say. Yo. Hello, hello! Nova here! Got big news about your next job. Sorry, Nova. Luger's tied up at the moment. What? Hey, wait a minute! Just tracked him down. Yep, we'll be right over. Just hang tight. They want us to hurry? Pretty much. Luger, you've been such a big help to us. It's only fair you come see our big announcement. No, let's uh, call it a celebration. Ooh, what's he have to do? Sounds like things went pretty well. Enough words. You just invite me out to drinks. Let's not say that. Well, we cleared one hurdle anyway. Baby steps. And as the only journalist invited... I'll be coming along to document the whole thing. We expect big things from you, Snoops. We've booked the bar in Duval, so we better get moving. The only bar in the entire Are game. There? I thought I'd be rubbing shoulders with a who's who of Sean Du. I'm not made of moolah. Believe me, I checked out some of the options. My wallet hurts just thinking about it. Ouch. Alrighty. But you owe me one, okay? Better start saving. Fair enough. Let's just call this the pre-party. All right, let's get going to Jean Du then. So, is this one of the what? No, Jean Du, uh, Duval. You know, is this going to be one of the quests where there is actually no no fighting? I don't know. I don't know if I I believe in that or not. But we we will see. I mean, I mean, there's something's going to happen, right? Do, 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 da. So Duval's little little old bar is over here. There we go down the steps. I mean, so. How many quests? We've got Jude to do. Gaius, I think, is finished. So we will see. Yo, two, you two, what's up? Tell me what's going down. Hey, you started without me. Oh, how rude. Well, you never said not to. Right? Balin was telling me about the time you two went drinking. What? What's the story? Let's just say it involves a sloppy young Alfred and a humiliating confession. Never happened. Stop making stuff up. That blush says otherwise. <laughs> Excuse me, can I get anyone a drink? An apple juice, please. Whatever they're having. You? Hmm, what should I have? I'll have what Alvin's having. Tomato juice, please, because I do love that tomato juice. I feel like if I said Alvin's thing, you would have been happy. Guess we won't be telling any embarrassing tales about you later. Ahem. <clears throat> I'll start with the big news. We need to unload all the merchandise we've been planning to sell to you know who. Huh? You okay with this? Apparently, it's just how you break into the business world in Olympias. Exactly right. Going after them now wouldn't accomplish anything at this point. Hate to get a bad reputation by making a big deal out of this and losing. Huh. Because that would just make things worse. Fortunately, we're not alone. Balin had our back on this one. Uh, I know some people. So you taking that job they offered? Turned them down. I'm business partners with Jurgen now. There's absolutely no way I'm just tossing that away. Very well said. I mean, you even came to me for help. Hey, so are you really okay with this? We talked this over already. 
It's all good. I'm fine. I really am glad I got into business with you. Thank you. This was a real learning experience for me. I'm not the world's best businessman. It's pretty clear that I need someone like you around. Come on. I wouldn't even have known where to start without you. Listen to that. They're the perfect team. Yeah. There's no need to patronize us. The perfect team, huh? Gotta say, I'm looking forward to the future. Oh, you're getting so nice. Too bad he died in the other oh, one. Oh, final question. So, the two of you got into business to build a bridge between the two nations. And do you still think that's possible at this point? The two countries certainly have radically different values, but that just makes for a challenge worth meeting. Sometimes there's more important things in business than simple profit. Now that I finally learned that lesson, I'd like to try my luck at it again. Hmm, I think I have the makings of a great story here. But knowing last year, screw it up. Looks Look like at my tomato juice. Set. From the top? Okay, let's do this. Here's to success! Cheers! Great work, everyone! Cheers! Let's go with this one. Oh my god, do we never get anything right? Cheers! Thanks, pal, for all your help. You're welcome, buddy. And Rodos. Yeah, so there was no fighting in that one. That's easy. That was a very easy one. Elvin's chapter 5 is completed. I'm not entirely sure what went down, but we got the stick, which we will equip to Elvin with... Great haste. All right, we should just check everyone how she has. Yeah, should we done Leia? We've done Thingy. We've done Rowan. We've done Mila. So we have to do... Oh, boy. What? Oh, okay, that's fine. It's still better. <laughs> what the heck is that? All right, cool. And we've done... Oh, so we haven't done Muse. So I guess there's a Muse one to do, and there should be a Jude one to do. Two to go, then. That's what I'm expecting. So one in Cambalar, one in Lalonde. That's right. So I imagine the one in Cambalar is going to be Miss Miss Mila's sister. What's her face? I forgot. Muse, that's the one. Uh, by the castle as well. Actually, I do think Jude is by the castle in this town. So maybe it is Jude. I don't know. We'll find out, won't we? Oh, I haven't checked the cats in ages. That is a good point. Oh, did we bring the cat back? No, we did not. Go again then, dude. Go find me the cat in Fenmon. Maybe there isn't one. I don't know. Can we not go up? By the, yeah, take me on the sidecar, dude. Take me on that sidecar. Take me good and hard. Maybe that's a different kind of taking, who knows. Anyhow, yeah, it is Jude. Okay, so Jude, what's up? Muse will be last. Jude, you are next. Next on the chopping block, next on the... Jude Chapter 5, where dreams once thrived. Doesn't that sound... Yeah, it sounds pretty inspiring. Oh, it's Celsius, hello. Celsius. The ice spirit climb is quite intense here. Yeah, you thought it might make you feel a little more at home. It is quite pleasant. We're ready to show you those places you remember. Any preference for the order? Under their current names, the areas are the Kajar Sea Falls, Fenmont, and Fort Gondala. I'll leave it to you. But just make sure Fort Gondala is last. Oh, why is that? You asked if I had a preference, and I answered. Fort Gondala is a military installation. We should probably ask Rowan to get us permission to visit. Good idea. I'll give him a call. In the meantime, let's start by visiting the other two. Of course, Fort Gondala is where anything's gonna happen. That is one place we haven't been before. Kajara Sea Falls. All right, we can do that. Let's go. We're taking Elvin with us, apparently. All right, gonna sneeze. Apologies. Ugh, I apologize for that. Apparently I'm very sneezy today. Right. So whereabouts are we going? To the other side. Can we just like jump to the other side? That would be <laughs> particularly easy if we could just do that. Yep. That makes life a little bit easier. So she just wants us up here, does she? She's going to take us up here. Where did she... Okay, so it is the next map along. So it's not... It's not we saved a bit of time, but not, not so much that it was completely worth it. But there you go. I mean, it is worth it still, but... Let's go with this. Go with the flow. Where can we jump down here? Oh, don't back attack me, bitches. I'm just sneezing all over the place. What is this? 
clearly need to blow my nose or something. Oh well. I'll have to live without. Let's keep going. I don't know what a, sne a sneeze is going to sound like on the microphone, actually. It'll kind of be an interesting experience. Probably won't even bother editing it out, which is really lazy on me, but there you go. Right, so, oh. We're going to where we fought that shellfish. The shellfish. The shellfish. The selfish shellfish. Alright, we want to pick up this thing? Oh no, this is going to a cutscene, okay. This is just as I remember it. Cool and relaxing. So it's always been like this? They say that couples who stand at the top of the falls develop an intense bond for each other. Daredevil lovebirds used to scramble up there all the time. One man in particular was persistent in inviting me as well. A human man? Did you go? Uh, ooh, which one do I say? They're both interesting. Did you go? I am a great spirit. I have little interest in participating in human traditions. But I did enjoy watching other humans do it. I see. It must be an important human custom. Actually, I've never heard about it. Hmm. Then perhaps it's fallen out of practice. Shall we give it a go? Yes. Why not? And you needn't worry about slipping. Undine will make sure your fall isn't fatal. Not fatal? My nostalgia is satisfied. You may do as you please. All right. Then we'll be back in a jiff, okay? Are those two always like that? Pretty much. They do seem very close. Interesting. It feels like only yesterday that he and I talked here. Has it really been 500 years? Yep. I don't know who you're talking about. Maybe it's someone important. Maybe it's someone at Fort Gondala. <laughs> we went all the way to the edge. Maxwell, I didn't think you'd actually go through with it. The view was worth the trip alone. And you should have seen Jude. Mila, I told you to pretend that never happened. <laughs> That's right. I quite enjoyed it, to be honest. But if you found it upsetting, I shall suppress the memory. Well, in that case, you don't have to forget it, but just keep it between us, okay? Very well. It shall be our secret. <laughs> oh man, what happened up there? What did you well, do? That was certainly fun. On to the next stop. I don't know what they're suggesting happened there. Something innocent or something uninnocent? The secret of Jude and Mila. <laughs> Well, he's got a cold. Have you caught a cold? No. I'm fine. It's just a normal physiological response. But you were splashed with a significant amount of water back there. I knew I should have. Mila, it, it's fine. Honestly, I'm good. Hmm. What were you two doing up there? It's gonna be something weird and innocent. I can't tell you that. <laughs> Luger's reaction is just so amusing. It's because of the way you're talking, Jude. You're making it sound like we did something scandalous. Huh? N no, it's not that. We didn't do that. The harder you try to keep it a secret, the more people will wonder. It's basic human nature. I understand that, but still. I know. I'll keep my promise. Which means I can't tell you. Sorry about that. Now I want to know. <sighs> Didn't have sex apparently, so that's that. All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, Fenmont. Fenmont should be fairly simple. And then it's Fort Gondala, where I imagine we'll find something, but I don't know what. Okay, so we're in Fenmont. Ah, oh, right over there. Cool. That's very close. Satisfyingly close, actually. Right. Fenmont, or the bridge. What will she see here that will remind her of nostalgic times? What a strange little city they've built here. There wasn't a building in sight last time I was here. Just an endless field, perfect for watching shooting stars. Wow, that sounds nice. People used to say that if you wished upon a shooting star before it vanished, your wish would come true. They still say the that. The human who brought me here loved those silly superstitions. He taught me all sorts of them. Are you going to join in their conversation? These two have developed quite a rapport. Let's ask if she's going to join in. No. Jude is slowly melting the ice around Celsius's heart. I'd only get in the way. 
Celsius taught me a 500-year-old method for making wishes come true. Want to give it a shot? A spell for granting wishes? Interesting. That does sound like the sort of thing humans would enjoy. Let's try it. That. How awkward, Veluga. You move your hands like this while you make your wish. Hmm. Intriguing. Yeah. Did you ever make a wish with anyone? Back in the day? I don't recall. We've made our wishes. Shall we move on? Hmm, Celsius is still hiding something, but let's head to Fort Gondala. I imagine we're allowed now. I actually have walked to Fort Gondala before, but it's not gonna let me, is it? Or is it? Oh no, yeah, I can, cool. So I can fast travel there. Unfortunately, I couldn't go in before, but I imagine we're allowed in now, which is something different. Alright, something's going down. Who's gonna die? What have you done, Celsius? Ugh, just look at this eyesore they built. But this has to be the place. I'd never forget the mana flowing through here. Why is this place special to you? Because this is where I met him. Who? The first human I ever met. Have you heard of a man named Howe? The name sounds familiar. Wait, you can't mean Dr. Howe. Isn't he the head scientist who laid the foundation for spirit arts? If that's the case, his inspiration must have been... Probably me. We even lived together for a while. He insisted. A human and a spirit shacking up? Wait, who's done... <laughs> Uh, which one do I say here? Let's go with this one. It sounds really weird. We may have just solved one of history's great mysteries. You could say that. Dr. Howe's theories spearheaded and eventually led to the fundamental arts of spirit channeling. He laid the entire foundation for the age of spirit arts. You make it sound like he was some noble historical figure when really he was just a lovesick fool. Always finding an excuse to get close to me, trying everything he could to woo me. It sounds like you're Mila. Wait, wait, Dr. Howe hit on you? Have all of these locations we visited been places you spent with Howe? Yes, he used to drag me everywhere, always talking passionately about his dreams for the future. The way most humans do with their friends and lovers. But ultimately, humans and spirits are different creatures. Do you truly believe that spirits and humans can coexist peacefully? I believe it. In fact, I plan to prove it. Wait, what? We have vowed to do everything we can to accomplish that goal. Right? Why have we got weapons out? In that case. Wait, what the hell? Alright, we're fighting apparently. Uh I don't know what we're fighting. I think that we should put your vow to the test. Fighting some kind of ice lizard monster dragon thing. Alright, I don't know what's going on, but okay. Let's just fly with it, eh? She hasn't got much health, in fact. Give me a dragon thing. Let's just kill Celsius first, I think. Ow. I'm also linked to the wrong person, which is kind of annoying. Alvin's doing some work, though, because he's a fire elementalist. Nice work. Good job, Alvin. We knew we could count on you. I have fire elemental attacks, too, though, don't I? I feel like Celsius isn't very strong, but there you go. Let's just kick her ass real quick. Oh my god, she's, like, dead. We'll just wreck her in this mode, because we can. Yeah, boys. Take this damage, Celsius. What are you going to do here? What are you going to do? No one can dodge this attack. All right, Celsius has one health. Celsius is dead. So now we need to take out the actor. Enslaved Aqua Dragon. Looks really fat, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe it needs to go on a diet, friends. This is why you go on diet, Mr. Dragon Man. Dark Rejection. And then follow it up with Azure Edge and other things. Other beautiful combos. 
so we can get one more in. Okay, no, not quite. Celsius is down though, this guy's not going to take much longer. Everyone combo him to death. Alright, finish him off now. I think he might be dead. Long dead. That was a pretty decent combo to finish it off. I hope you can finally understand. All right, so there we go. We beat up Celsius for some unapparent reason. I don't really understand what we were accomplishing there, but you know, it was obviously necessary to beat the living daylights out of her. Oh, she's still alive though. Still standing. Mila. I think not. I don't know what's happening at all. Look out. Are you... are you okay? Jude, why would you do this? I just can't stand seeing you hurt. I wouldn't do this for just anyone, you know. Don't you see that? Jude, you idiot. Just look at them. <laughs> Let me tell you, that idiot right there is every bit the fool Hal was. Jude, Maxwell. You might be able to accomplish our vision. You have what it takes to go and finally create the world that Howe and I always dreamed of. Oh, so she's dead now? Oh no, she's a crystal again, okay. Are you two okay? Get a room, you two! Let's say that one. It's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry about that. Celsius. Oh, it's not very blue anymore, though. Was it blue to begin with? I never got to talk with her about anything besides her memories. It doesn't matter. Celsius and Dr. Howe have given me the lead I needed. Have they, though? This might be the key to resuming my spyrite research. Balin, it's Jude. I may have found a way to complete the Spyrite project. What? Seriously? Yeah. It'll take a while to explain, though. First things first, Jude. You need to get your wounds treated before telling any long stories. <laughs> okay. Maybe we can borrow Drissel's manor in Sherilton. Can you not just go to an inn or something? Why do you have to go pick on Drissel? Is that the end of the thing? Oh no, it's actually still going. Okay. Let's have a look at Kitty Dispatch thing. I'm still looking for that kitty. What? Wait, have we actually got the cat or something? No, there's still one here. Go find me the cat. Oh, it does say kitty found two out of two. I have a feeling I've already found all the cats in there and I'm just wasting my time. Whoopsies. Oh, well, to Charlatan. We need to visit... What's on my face? Uh, Mistress Cell and get our wounds treated. And by that, they mean have f super fun time. Such foolishness. Oh. This really makes me question your priorities, Jude. Huh? Are you mad at me? She's not mad at you. Oh, and that's the end of that. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so this is Drissel's manor. So, uh, Jude and me are going to get all frisky. And so we will... Hold know. still. I can't treat your wounds if you keep squirming. I told you, I'm fine. I already gave myself first aid. Now, now. What are they doing? <laughs> that Let's smile, your though. breakthrough for the Spyrite project. No, maybe this isn't a good time. Well, that didn't look too bad. Balin. Thanks for coming. Wild wyverns couldn't have kept me away. Now, what's this revelation of yours? Well, spyrites are essentially just spirits, right? Even once they become spyrites, they still have their own minds. So instead of trying to control them, we should be asking for their cooperation. Asking for their cooperation? How exactly? That's the thing. It's the same way Rizemaxians do it every day. Do you mean spirit arts? 
And he finally figured out the method. Do you mean spirit arts? Let's ask him. Kind of similar. You figured it out too. Ah, yes. The process in which spirits perform arts for humans in exchange for our mana. It presumably requires some form of communication to form a contract. So, spirit arts are actually a conversation of sorts. Dr. Howe was originally trying to communicate with spirits when he invented spirit arts. It must be that the arts contain within them a message that's sent to the spirit. You're right! We picked up on some incomprehensible system of signals when we were analyzing the spirit arts process. If it turns out to be an encrypted spirit language, it just might be what we're looking for. If we decode it and apply it to spyrites, we'll even be able to make requests of the great spirits. Can you imagine that? I'll analyze the signals immediately. Leave everything to me. Hey, impressive work there. I didn't do anything. It's all thanks to Celsius. You inherited the possibilities that Hao once envisioned, and that will be the key in leading us to a brighter future. You humans really are something. Did you mean just Jude? Thank you for everything. I will make sure that your dream comes true. Is Celsius super dead then? Did she run out of mana and die, or did she just go back to the spirit world? Because if she's in the spirit world, can't she just be summoned again once there's more mana around? I thought that was the way it worked. Anyway, we got Tipo Mittens. I assume they're some kind of decent weapon for Jude. Yeah. Right, we will actually call it a day there. I know it's kind of short, but you know, if I if I start Muse's quest now, it's gonna run on. So thank you very much for watching me. Until next time, good night.